Hey y'all, welcome again to another episode here on Restoration. Yep, here it is, this old Thunderbird. We're gonna see if this 5.0 will actually bark off today. We don't know if it'll happen. Um, but once again, many of you know that we go by Restoration. I go by Rev here. I'm a full-time pastor. Fridays is my sorta off day, if you will, uh, at the church. So yeah, we come like to play around and work on these old rigs. Well. Today, my daughter has an award ceremony into school ceremony, so I don't have much time. You reckon we can get this old rascal started today? I don't know. Watch to the end of the episode. Well, this video was just gonna be about the Thunderbird, but hey, let's have a battle of the birds. Which one will start and start the best, this Thunderbird or maybe a 65 Falcon? Wait and find out. Hey y'all, I'm Rev. This is my daddy, also known as the old man. This is my wife, my prime rib, Nikki T. Here on our channel, we enjoy bringing life back to dead things, mostly old forwards. We have many crazy methods that are ours, and we use those crazy methods on rigs that are ours. If you enjoy our crazy shade tree, cussing free, God loving, dad joke telling, tire spinning content then subscribe it's free but either way welcome to restoration <laughs> all right y'all here's here's how she sits all right old man go do what you were doing what year is it 84 thunderbird 1984 for thunderbird and the old, uh, I mean, she's a spicy piece of chicken. I tell you what, she uh, used to be the runner. Actually, the guy that was uh, one of the first to share Christ with me on this car, he wrecked it, right, uh, Brady? Daddy, is that right? Yeah, he wrecked it. He, uh, he wrecked it, and uh, old man bought it. And a few body lines probably need to be straightened up on it. I hadn't run in... Oh, gosh. It's been at least... 10, 12 years or more. 10 or 12 years or more? You think 10 or 12 years is all? Probably longer than that. I don't know if I've ever, I don't know if I've ever seen it run. But there she is. 5.0 liter EFI. That's our biggest issue. Um, our biggest issue is going to be fuel and fuel to lit, not probably not fuel <laughs> delivery, probably just fuel a, a uh, the fuel injectors so uh so we've got bad shape. Wires, yeah we got that's in bad shape um so we're going to uh take it off. see take it off old man kept saying it's the carburetor it's the carburetor yeah it's the fuel uh, injector. it's got a uh it's the fuel injectors look bad with it. yep it's got uh the fuel injectors is part of the issue um, but we're gonna see if we can resolve that. Can you unplug that or can we get around? Let, let's go around and look at the car. Come on, you got the key to open the door. Yeah, I want y'all to see all of it. I mean, this is a, uh, I mean, this is old slick, sick, slick girl. You want to be able to see every bit of it. There it is. Look at there. I tell you what. Look at that interior, y'all. I can't even get in there. We ain't got no room. There's the old Thunder Chicken uh, emblem. You got a lot of room in the back. Not really. The door panels here needs a little bit of, uh, leaves a little bit to be desired. There she is, automatic cruise control. I mean, she's, uh, she's still got some life left in her, I do believe. Old National Rifle NRA sticker. That's what I'm talking about. Got a little bit of boy. Got a lot of rust in that back pillar, dude. Look at that. Mm. Yeah. Mm mm mm. Something's probably right by now. But... Yep. Might just be an old engine holder. Let's go around this side. Yep. Here's a. Here's the old passenger side. I don't know why that moss is there. Good Lord, Daddy. You said it's been ten years. Moss growing ten years, y'all. I think it's been a few years longer than that. But y'all asked about this old rig. 
and uh, we're gonna see if we can start it. We don't have, a, I don't have, a, what's the word I'm looking for, old man? I don't know, the confidence. <laughs> don't have any confidence. It's a good running motor if we get it running, but. Uh, old man the, says good running motor. Electric fuel pump on it is probably gone. And, probably. Uh, so we'll have to spray it to keep it running. And the, I took the ejector out of it. The ejector is up under all this. I You're took this out and manually put gas in it. But then the ejector is down up under here, and I took it all apart and took it out one time and cleaned it. And the very next day, it wouldn't crank again because it was stopped up again. So uh, it was rusty looking, and at that time, there was $80 for that ejector, and I didn't spend it. All right, so we're going to see if we can uh, get this old rig running. These mosquitoes around here, I don't know if y'all can see that big old jackson georgia mosquito right there but that rascal my daddy called them b-52 bombers them bombers will eat you in a minute all right y'all in between becoming a mosquito supper we've taken one of the plugs off i don't really know how to get the injectors out it's got two injectors there we've hooked a battery up we're just gonna see see if the engine will turn over right old man that's the first step <laughs> Turns over. All right. Ooh, I smell bad gas already. I, I took the gas cap off and man, it stunk. But if you smell gas, that means it went through there. I don't know if it was going through there or what, but it's almost like I smell bad gas already. Uh, you smell gas, it went in there. But I don't know if that, there ain't no way. I mean, what to do with my pocket knife? All right, when you're turning it over, I'm going to hit this Schrader valve and see if it's got, I don't think the fuel pump's working, but uh, go hit it. Oh, look at here. <laughs> Watch. All right, everybody. It, does, it does have gas in it, don't it? Smell your hands. Smell your knife. Mm, smells like gas. I'm surprised. Schrader valve. Well, I've been living here for five years. I mean, that might not be enough fuel Maybe. pressure. I don't know if y'all are seeing that. I'm not really worrying about camera. All right, go turn it over while I'm doing that. See if it's building pressure. Ready? Yep. Nope, no pressure. Go ahead. Yeah. Almost hearing your switch. I don't hear no fuel Me either. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> oh, all right. That answers a lot of our questions. Have no fuel coming. So car running and starting all by itself is uh, null and void. Not going to happen. So uh, well, we can hear the motor run probably just by putting uh, you, you bottle. You, uh, I can't think of his name. Oh, Eugene bottle. Eugene bottle. All right, y'all. We're going to go. Um, we're going to go here. Here's the old Mountain Dew cold red. We're just gonna drop a little bit of fuel down in there and uh, just see if she'll bark. I think she's got fire, she sped up. Go ahead. I mean, hit the foot feed and do what you gotta do with it. Oh, listen at her go. Hit it. Listen that old motor run, y'all. Tap, I mean, you got to be hitting the foot feed some. It's not letting it go in there. Go. Listen at that old motor run. Woo! I don't know if y'all caught that. That wasn't good. She backfired and just about caught my old bottle on fire. Dangerous. Mountain Dew will explode. Go. I don't know if it's backfired, though. Go. 
Give it a little gas. I mean, you got to play around with the foot feeds, huh? <laughs> Woo! Uh-oh. <laughs> she fired. She runs smooth when it runs. Go. <laughs> She's got horrible gas mileage. Um, I don't understand it. Uh, hold on, y'all. We're going to take the straighter valve off and see if we can actually squirt it through the injectors. Don't believe it's possible, but we're going to try. The old man has done rounded the brass. So, uh, I'm going to try not to finish it on off. I'm going to give it some jagged edges. So, uh, just going to take the old straighter valve all the way it's like there was more fuel in there so uh we'll turn it over with that out and see if it pumps anything out which i don't don't think that it will but uh we shall see yeah start spraying that on the motor <laughs> it won't get the whole motor on fire not anymore right mm -hmm. Whoo! all right go that ain't gonna work <laughs> let's see if it'll pump something out Careful with the gas. Hit it. Oh, can't do that no more. I think we're moving on to another rig. Uh, we've heard it run. We know it'll run. If we get gas to it, injectors to it, we know this engine will run. I think pretty simple to yeah. say that. Yeah. We're going to do that anymore. We need to unplug the injectors <laughs> so we won't burn up. We need to clean the top of the engine off. We need to, there's a lot of things we need to do because, I mean, we're burning uh, acorns and, I mean, we, did it burn on the outside? Yeah, of the you oh. should have seen it. If I didn't have such a big mouth and big lungs, we wouldn't have been able to huff and puff and blow I that house just down. The carburetor smoke. No, uh, uh, it was. Because I couldn't see nothing from the inside. One so, fiery thunderbird. So, so cover this. We're gonna in. cover it all back up. We're gonna go to another another bird. All right, y'all. Here's the next Ford bird. This is a 1965 Ford Falcon, 289, four lug car. Uh, we've had this one running probably four lug. That's a five lug. Five, five lug. I don't know why I said four lug. Not a four lug car, five lug car. So it's original uh, 289. Um, we have had this car running probably in the last 50 year, 15 years. Yes, in the last 50 years. Um, it's been at least 10 or 12. It's been a long time since we have had this thing running. So. I took the chrome off of it and, and uh, primed it some. That's why the grill's out of it. Old man was priming it a little bit, and rust is already busted back through, so we didn't put sealer on it and get all that done, but we've had a good time playing around with it in years past. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to cut down a few trees, and uh, then we're going to probably with pudding try to drag the falcon out and then we're going to try to get it running enough to back it back in. What you think, old man? Hopefully. I got some transmission fluid if it's all run out. You think it'll happen? We've already cranked one bird that uh, was more firebird than it was thunderbird because uh, it, it barked off. We got to do a lot to get that engine running uh, with a fuel delivery. Um, 
I wonder how much it'll take to get this old rig running. Let's let's see. Obviously, you can see this car has been sitting here long enough for an oak tree to grow. I'm six feet tall. That's probably an eight foot tall tree there. So one grew right by that tire. One grew right over here. Old man probably showed you these um, over here. So uh, can we pull the Falcon out so we can work on it? This is something we're going to have to figure out. Bring, he blade on that thing. Look at this. How to crank the car and then try to pull it out instead of pulling it with a Jeep. Because we pull it out with a truck and, we, and it won't go in reverse or nothing. We up the creek. <laughs> All right, so the old man wants to now change it. Hold on, don't crank it yet. Wants to change up the plan. We want to try to crank it and then reveal it. That'll be a little bit different in the video. See if we can get this Ford Bird to actually move on its own power and come out here to show it off and then back it back into its uh, graveyard until we're ready to do more work, uh, more work on it. But, oh man, you know what's a 10 letter word that starts with G-A-S? An automobile. <laughs> Gas, automobile, they start. Hey, you know what type car? Uh, Gordon Ramsay, you know that British chef you know what type of car he drives uh, a chef relay chef chef <laughs> oh, that's almost as bad the way i pronounce it uh, yeah which i'm well, not gonna do on TV. we're not gonna we're not gonna say what that he used to have tongue tied when he was a kid and he called chevrolet something that's inappropriate for our channel <laughs> so uh so we're gonna crank this up we're gonna cut some limbs cut some trees we're gonna cut the top out of them because they're right they're growing out of the tire almost so I'm gonna cut the ones on the mm -hmm. on the front of the car, and then if we get it cranked and get it in gear, we'll cut the back ones when we pull it out. What's that? Deal. That's enough. Look at that. That one's got the curve of the falcon. <laughs> yeah. That one growed out from under it. So it's been, uh, you say, at least 10 years. <laughs> been long enough for them trees to grow. Oh, yeah. You know what Dayton website uh, trees you know, use when they're looking for a, a hot date? Uh -uh. Timber. 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 Not tender, but timber. <laughs> I'm sorry, I created that one all by myself. All right, old man, pop the hood. All right, y'all, here she is. Let's see if I can find it. We can crank a dog on 289, I'm right there. Down here. I love, whoa, let's clean it off a little bit. I've always loved the Ford Falcon. 65, everybody likes. 64, everybody likes. I love the 63 and a half hard top. Same roof line. But the 60 model uh, round tail lights, man, I love them. Somebody got a six, three and a half body. They want to sell our complete car for a reasonable price. This thing didn't have a breather on it yet. Let me know. That's not locked up. All right, y'all, there she is. Uh -oh, the no. oh, you just busted it then. No gas in there and the old man just busted the accelerator pump. That's all right, look at that coal, look at that. Look at that coal wire. We lose coal wires everywhere. Like and we coal. steal them off one to put on another one. We got to clean the dirt diver out of that. Yep. I think this baby's going to crank. So the idea is, is we're going to see if we can get this Ford Bird Falcon to drive from its place so we can show you everything. We're going to cut some more trees down and then hopefully back it back in. That is our, that is our goal. The old man is going to try to dethrone 
Oh, he just pushed it down in there. That wasn't as bad as I was anticipating. He must have done hatched and left home. <laughs> Look at that old big mile. Get on down in there, old man. <laughs> there it is. Don't blow the rest of this stuff off. You don't want the patina to come off this engine. Y'all, this 289 is going to bark in just a minute. I can almost guarantee it. She got a little little hole under the battery box. A little bit. Just a little extra spot for the battery to go. I'm going to put a bigger battery in there now. No <coughs> way. Oh, well. All right, need a coal wire. Need a coal wire. We had one on the Jeep last time. Need a battery. Cool and wire. we're going to get this old girl to crank. All right, y'all, we're going to check our points before we try to start it. Old man has went and got a uh, coal wire. Uh, so we got that. Eugene sent us a points file. Look at there. So uh, thank didn't, you, Eugene. I didn't know they made anything like that. Teaching this old man something. So it looks like we put points and plugs in it. Rotary button last time we run it. This was way before you moved to Alaska. Oh, yeah. All right, you hold that. I'm just going to pop it a little bit. All right, old man is going to watch that. Let's see this. All right, so we're going to use the... Where's in the way, but... Look at there. Oh, gosh. It, it that worked about like it's supposed to. Don't hit it too much. You'll be done sanding it to hit it. Yeah. With that thing. Uh-huh. That ought to be clean enough. Well, like they ain't lining up right, but that'll work. All right, now I'm gonna turn this. Oh, we gotta set the points. Look at that, they ain't breaking at all. Well, you ain't turned it for now. <clears throat> I'm turning it, then. It's going right over the lobe. Uh, if something don't work, you make it work. We ain't got no other battery that's got any juice to it. We got this big old truck battery. So the old man's gonna tie it off so it don't hit the fan. It ain't hitting yeah. the fan, right? It ain't hitting the fan. It ain't hitting the alternator yet. So, uh, man, that's... Like that. I know this famous YouTuber would call that factory. <laughs> Derek would be wrong, but uh, I like it. So, uh, so we got points set. We're going to go through and check fire, see if we're getting fire to the coal, fire through the coal. Then we're going to hook up our uh, starter, uh, remote control starter. So the old man, all he's got to do is leave the ignition on. We can... We can unplug the battery so we don't burn up our coal. Everyone always says, you're going to burn up the coal by doing that. Not if the battery's unplugged, you won't burn up anything. So, uh, old man always forgets to turn the ignition back on. So, uh, I just unplugged the battery. And I forget to plug yeah, the battery back up. All right, old man's going to... I got, I brought in a bunch of loaded steel when snapper shut down. And I packed it right here behind this fence. And hope my door open far enough to get in. And hope there ain't no snake up under this metal. He's under there. He'll let you know. Look at him. Old door opened up fine. <laughs> you need a young man to get in there and stick his arm through? Look at him. Just I mean, he's on, right? MacGyvering it in there. Yeah, just turn the switch on. Is it on? Yeah, but it won't start. It won't turn over. Well, it ain't, I mean. The battery's hooked up, ain't it? Yep. It won't do nothing. All right. Well, we you oh, got it. You probably you probably don't even have it in gear. Is it in park? Uh oh. But don't worry about that. We'll uh. All right. All right. It's fine. Just leave it. Leave it there. Turn the switch. Turn the switch to on. I'm gonna undo that. We're gonna do the starter out here. So we ain't worried about that. But we do know we got a loose hot cable. Um. Is we may or. May not. We gotta move this thing. We ain't got no brakes. <laughs> Who needs brakes? <laughs> Who needs brakes when you got when you got pudding sitting in front of it? That's right. All right. So there is that. We've got that tighter there. We're gonna check and see if we're getting fire in the camera. You wanna do it with a screwdriver Off just to see first to the old man. And uh, we can. We're gonna check fire before we hit that. All right, so negative, positive. Fire to that, so we know we're getting fire through the coal. The fire's getting there. Fire's got to be coming through the coal. So we know we have fire. Have fire there. So now we're going to turn it over, 
man, old man. Look right there and see if we're getting any spark. Watch your hand here now. You ready? This is light. I can't see. Can you? <laughs> Watch your hand now. All right, go. Watch where you're pointing the camera. Watch where you're pointing the camera. Yeah, she's firing, baby. This thing is gonna be a piece of cake. Piece of cake. This old girl is gonna be driving out of this hole before too much longer. This old 289 is wanting to run, y'all. I'm telling you. So we're going to uh, just because of that. I'm gonna go on and take the top of the carburetor off. It's got oil. It's got yeah. oil. Look at here, y'all. In pretty clean. Good oil. Good oil. You might have changed this one. Changed on this. It's the only oil change you've done probably the last 20 years, ain't it? <laughs> that fluid in there? No. No fluid. Well, it's, it's damp. But <clears throat> damp. That's all yeah. we need. And I can't can't remember if I drained the... I probably drained it. So we're going to take the fuel line off to make sure we're not going to be pumping anything in it. We're going to take the top of the carburetor off to uh, add fuel to it. Make sure the needle and seat is good. We'll probably... We'll probably rig up our uh, snapper tank, and uh, we'll go from uh, we'll go from there, and hopefully get this old girl to fire right on up. I, I said I rebuilt this carburetor, but there's no way. And of course, that's bad gas that we're running off of. All that. Look at that. I mean, that's just that's gross. Uh, there's a lot of things missing on this. The umbrella seal was not where it needed to be. Um, so uh, I'm gonna go through and get all that fixed up. And uh, hopefully we'll have this old carburetor running again. The old carburetor doctor, old countertop carb, gonna make it work. All right, y'all, as time is running out, we are going to try, uh, we have pieced together this carburetor. Of course, it did not have a clip holding that on, so bread tie for the win. Uh, so we uh, have that held. So when we gravity feed this, it should be able to hold gas. Um, accelerator pump, probably not gonna work, but the regular jets the regular jets are actually holding uh, or not clogged so uh they should be fine um i don't know if that all right that's working but it's sticky so we're gonna spray a little bit uh down in there on that to clean that up and uh, we'll be back with you after we get gas and fuel in the carburetor then we're gonna see if she'll crank right up the carburetor itself is going to need a rebuild a lot of the gaskets were gummed up and busted so we know carburetor is not going to carburate um we're gonna see if she'll fire <coughs> first time in a lot of years do you think she's gonna bark off let's see pour some gas in it old man we're gonna put it from the top because it probably ain't gonna work anywhere else and remember how you hold too. the bottle <laughs> Woo, started jumping out every time she goes to fire the old starter jumps out so give it some gas Give her some gas. I don't want to have to go put some in it, I think. Pump that. Right. Look at that thing. Huh? Huh? Look, at the, look at the power valve. Oh, no, that's not the power that's valve. That's the fuel pump. Yep. This is that thing terrible. Told you that carburetor's going to work now. Whoop. Until I gunned it. Uh. I'm surprised as uh, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised as that, that fella that got the old Willy Wonka. I don't think so either, but she runs good, don't you? You gonna hit it one time? Yeah, let me hit it one time. Come on, starter. Starter, that's good enough, Listen to that thing. Well, got a little bit of a tick. Listen at her idle. You would do if you sat there 15 years. <laughs> Crank the idle down a little bit and see if we can move it. Crank it up. Are you talking about pulling this thing out? Why not? You scared? You scared? If you scared, yeah, say scared. you scared. I scared. I scared. <laughs> All right, y'all. We uh, no offense to Jerry. We got a guy named Jerry Hunley that watches the channel. There's a few Jerry's that watch the channel. So if you're a Jerry, there's no offense here. We like y'all because we work like y'all do. Jerry's rigged stuff up, and uh, we've got this rigged up really well. Um, this is this an old snapper fuel tank. Uh, we have the needle and seat is operating. We don't think anything else is in the carburetor, but she did crank up and run a little bit. We'll see if she'll drive out. But let's see if she can crank up and idle. So you ready to fire? Yeah, go ahead. 
Our idea is going to be carburetor's not working right, has no accelerator, accelerator pump is not right. <coughs> We're going to let the old man get inside of it. I'm going to crank it with a starter out here. Carburetor is sort of putting a little bit of gas in, but not enough. I'm going to be hitting it with the gas from the top, and uh, he's going to try to put it in gear and drive it out. We're going to look around it, let you see the whole 65 Galaxy or 65 Falcon and uh, look at the, all the, the inside, outside of it. And then we're going to try to back it back into its place. And when we get the shop, when we get dirt and get the shop finished, maybe we'll start working on one of these cars one at a time and actually doing some restoration to get them back on the road. That's our goal. Uh, but, old man, you ready? Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, I got to switch on there. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, starter. <laughs> All right, y'all, we've had fun playing around with this wheel. We don't have the time really to get it unstuck. We're gonna get in, the, uh, get in the car. We're gonna move it around a little bit with the transmission, see if we can break it loose. We know this wheel is stuck. I don't think the other front one's stuck. Both back tires may be stuck. We have no idea. Um, we do know this old motor runs, so that's the success of the video. But uh, let's let the old man play around a little bit more. Hold on. All right, gave him a little gas. You ready? Yep. That engine wants to run now, I'm telling you. Yep. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Drop my spark. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. She, she was coming out. Come on out with it. Drive it out. Turn toward me a little bit. My board's working as a sled. That's what I was wanting it to do. Hold on. You gonna crank it or what? Yeah, let's crank it up. Give it one more last hoorah. Man, that engine runs good though. Oh, you push the log out. I think your rocking action is gonna be your best shot. Keep rocking. There. I wish I was young enough to get in like Oh Bo Duke, huh? Bo Duke. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you try that. I'm gonna watch from over here. <laughs> we don't know how to do that trick photography like they do. Oh yeah, I yeah. could, but it wouldn't wouldn't be nearly as good as theirs. Alright, you ready? Switch is on. <laughs> All right, y'all, I guess we're going to have to, uh, we don't want to hurt this engine. It doesn't have much water in it. The starter has gotten hotter. Um, we know we got one wheel that's stuck. So we'll she move from a gray video will be coming up in the future. Uh, this is one that we probably could drive over, uh, get some water in it, get some coolant in it, drive it over to the shop, get the brakes and the wheels, everything going after we get this wheel unstuck. This one could probably hit the road fairly quick. 65 Ford Galaxy. So the Battle of the Birds, the Thunderbird cranked but would not idle, and it was uh, more of a Firebird shooting out fire. This engine here will flat out run. This 289 is still a good non-smoking motor, still a good running car. Uh, so this rig right here will do what it's supposed to do. If the wheel wasn't locked, we could have drove, driven it out and actually showed you what the backside uh, of this rig and all the way around it looks like. So maybe that'll be in a future video. We thank y'all so very much for watching. For me and the old man, uh, today is Nikki T's last day for the summer. So we're going to get some uh, Nikki T footage. 
I think the 67 Galaxy without breaking too much information. Yep, she needs some engine work. So we're getting that done and we're gonna film the whole process. Then we'll come back and share that with you when we get it all installed and put back together. But uh, y'all, we appreciate y'all. We thank you. Let's get the old man in here. We thank y'all so very much for watching and we know no way of closing out any of these videos than saying deuces. May God bless. Hey, we want to thank y'all again for watching this video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you can do so by clicking this button down below or you can watch a video that may be suited for you or a recent upload uh, here down below. So once again, we thank you for watching. Deuces. May God bless.